Hello everyone, I am Krishna Priya from Informatica Global Customer Service Team. Today I am going to direct you how to create IDQ services during installation. The installation is on Unix machine and the version used is IDQ 10.4. In this video, I will cover introduction of IDQ services and demonstration of how to create application services during installation and documents for reference. So moving on, IDQ services are two types, application services and system services. Application services represent server-based functionalities and they are analyst service, content management service, data integration service, model repository service and we have a flavor of model repository service that is monitoring model repository service. Coming to the system services, system services is an application service that can have a single instance in the domain. They are email service, resource manager service and scheduler service. So application services are those services which need to be created after the domain is installed. And system services are those services which are already present in the domain. They need to be enabled, disabled and configured in the domain. So let us look at what are the application services that we can create during the installation. These are the four services that we can create during installation. Till 10 to HF2, we are able to create only MRS, DIS and monitoring MRS. From 10.4, we are able to create content management service also. So let us now move on to a demo where I will be explaining the steps that are to be followed during your installation to create the services during installation. So during installation on step 8 of 16 where the domain configuration details are provided it is asked whether if we want to create any informatica services. So here we can see model repository service, data integration service and content management service which are related to IDQ has been asked if we want to create them. And also connections related to profiling warehouse and cluster configurations are also asked if we want to create them. So at this, point, at this step we can create MRS, DIS and content management service, the, the services which are related to IDQ. And we give option 1 to create. So after creating the domain and defining the domain in step 9 we have been asked whether if we want to create MRS and DIS where we have given one and then monitoring model repository service which is a flavor of MRS has also been asked whether we want to create monitoring model repository service. So till 10 to HF1 and HF2 we can only create MRS, DIS and uh, monitoring MRS but from 10.4 we are able to create even content management service. So we can see here it is asking if we want to configure content management service for data domain discovery. And the next steps were related to configure the profiling warehouse and connections. For now, I am providing it as no. And as we are creating IDQ related services, the remaining power center services, I am providing it as no. So here you can see I have provided the repository details. I have given the Oracle type of database, its uh, username, password and the uh, URL connection string. You can see it started validating the service name and it will continue creating the service. So here after creating the model repository service it started enabling the model repository service 
and then in step 9 it is asking for the details of the monitoring model repository service as monitoring model repository service is also a flavor of MRS we need to associate a repository to it so here it is requesting for the repository details So here you can see after creating the monitoring model repository service it has enabled it and in step 9 see it is requesting for the data integration service. I have given all the default values over here and it started validating the service. After creation of a data integration service in step 9d the content management services is also requested. So here from 10.4 we have given an option to create the content management service also. So for the content management service we need to provide a, a database for the warehouse, reference data warehouse. So here I'm providing the details for the DB. So here we have created the content management service also. So we have successfully created the four IDQ services. They are MRS model repository service, data integration service, monitoring model repository service and content management service. You can see the system services are disabled and they can be enabled, disabled and configured once in the domain. And also this is the admin console page where you can access So in the admin console, we can see that the requested services have been created. Model repository service is up and running and available. Data integration service is also up and running and available. And monitoring model repository service is also available and up and running. the content management service is also available. So those were the steps involved in creating the application services during installation and the installation is on Unix. You can always refer to our application service guide for more information and detailed explanation about application services. We would love to hear from you at support videos with it informatica.com and also a Twitter account Infa Support. Thank you and I hope the video was helpful in creating the application services during installation.